because Enketia looks like he might even be the heir apparent to Harry Kane for England. That's probably going a bit far at this stage, but the kid yeah. is obviously a natural goal scorer. I, I don't. I don't think people. I mean, who's waiting for the bubble to bust? No, I want. I'm, what my point I'm quite was, intrigued by that. I don't think people are waiting for the bubble to burst. Well, it's almost like people are waiting for Arsenal to lose a game and people go, eh, told you, they're going to no. fall away now. I, I, I don't see it. I mean, if you, maybe if you haven't watched Arsenal and you've seen the results and gone, oh, and you're basing it on previous years, you go, ah, they'll, they'll fall away. But if you're watching them, mm. somebody tell me where, what part of the team is going to all of a sudden fall apart. And Ketty has come in, he's, and we talked about this the other day. I think they've actually looked even better with him in the side. He actually but spends I, a he actually spends a lot of time in the box. And that's why he's getting himself goals. The two wide boys, they're not going away. And obviously injuries are a different thing. But then they've beefed up the squad with Trossard, and they've got another uh, one or two signings. They've got a squad. Midfield's brilliant. The back two have played, the, the back four have played together pretty much all seasons. Zinchenko's had a little problem here and there. And the goalie's been fantastic. So, I mean, if, you, if anybody's bubble's going to bust this year, I, I think it might be Man City's. Right. But, but I think it's, an, I really it's a difference. I think it's a difference, Craig. I'm not saying that we, when we see Arsenal, neutral people, I think it's the Arsenal fans because you have to burn up the, the belief that it's possible again that Arsenal can win that. I think when, as you're saying, when we watch Arsenal, is why should they burst? I mean, they, they look so solid. So, yes, I'm with Ian that it could be a surprise, but I don't think you can compare that with Leicester because Leicester were much, much more a challenger and an outsider. Arsenal, they are playing playing fantastic football at the moment. And when you compare them with Manchester City and when you compare Arteta with Pep Guardiola, you can say at the moment that maybe Arteta playing a better Pep play than Pep is doing at the moment. Uh, I mean, Leicester was a phenomenon, but it showed you how much of a, a phenomenon it was when Ranieri got sacked the next year. <laughs> so it, 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 was, it, it was an unbelievable high and then an unbelievable low because they couldn't sustain that. There's no sign. Well, even if Arsenal finish second, if that happens, it happens, right? It, it's, it's not... Everything's not over this year if they don't get it done. This side are not going away. This manager's not going away. These are pretty much a lot... Most of them are young players. So it's not like... If there's any disappointments this year for Arsenal, it's not like they're going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. This team are here to stay. That's for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.